Good morning class. Welcome to daily current affairs on paper Hindu. We will see what are the important articles for today. Right. Center Assam sign peace pact with Ulfa faction. So, this Ulfa is um, one of the anti-government organizations. So, parallel government factions. That is one kind of faction. So, with this particular faction, which is actually threatening the peace and security of Assam earlier. Uh, now the center and Assam has signed this peace pact with this Ulfa so that they will not be further continuing into any activities which would threaten their peace. Okay. So the groups cadre have agreed to surrender arms, vacate their camps, engage in peaceful democratic process, says Amit Shah. Reported settlement government success. So significant for Assam peace. Basically, kuda weaponry usage and the bag of frequent Jerutunamata. So with this tripartite, tripartite and Tevaru Assam government, central central government, and this Ulfa section. Three people have signed this peace pact successfully. So the union government, the union ministry, and Assam government signed this memorandum of settlement with the proper or with the protox faction of the United Liberation Front of Assam, Ulfa, on Friday. Okay, internal security wise, this is very, very important article. Um, Home Minister Amit Shah said that this tripartite struggle is significant for Assam peace. The government had achieved success in eliminating all the violent groups in the state. So this is also, as I told you, this was threatening the peace and security of Assam. So right now, uh, they've, made, they've been successful in bringing these people into one kind of alliance and signing this pact so that they'll further not be including or they will not be further uh, indulging into any kind of uh, violent activities. So it is a golden day of Assam future. Assam and the Northeast have endured violence for decades. Ulfa cadres have agreed to surrender arms and ammunition, vacate their camps and have decided to join the mainstream and engage in the peaceful democratic process established by law and maintain the integrity of the country. So, since 1979, all those who were killed were the country's citizens. So, basically, in 1979, uh, arms and ammunition, weaponry, valana, chala many civilians kuda chana kodan jarigindi. So, yoka pact wal lema utundi, everyone will come into the mainstream. So, society, janasha vintilo kalisipotar. So, this kind of uh, violent activities will be reduced. So, this will pay way for development so investing in identifying or uh, um, controlling the violent activities those investments those administration will be now turned towards development so that is what you need to understand okay right so that is about this article we'll go with the next one more of political news today so whatever is important only that we will see covid nice covid cases are hiking up so be careful take necessary precautions your exams are nearing by so be careful with that Vidya Divana, Vasati Divana have been um, given. See, with a click. Yesterday we have discussed what is what. So we are not further um, explaining about it. Okay. So with a click in Bhimavaram, Mr. Vice Jagan Mohan Reddy has uh, released this Vidya Divana and Vasati Divana. Okay. For the state students. And that will be credited to the accounts, joint accounts of mother and child. 11th century Jain sculptures discovered in Mysore district. So Mysore district of Karnataka. Karnataka is famous for this Jainism. Shravana Belagola, you might have heard. So it is famous for this Jainism. Uh, so 11th century Jain sculptures were discovered there. History wise important. Three Jain sculptures, three 11th century Jain sculptures were discovered at Varuna village in Mysore district early this week. The sculptures were found in a heap of debris while digging for drainage work. So drainage work is debris. Okay. While one of the sculptures were damaged beyond recognition, the other two were fairly in good conditions. So three kanakunta and rendu karatka unnai, rest of the things were not. Information about the discovery of sculptures was provided by a local person. A team comprising of this process have retrieved this particular um, things, this particular idols. And these two idols of sculpture, one of one of that was Jain Tirthankara. 
uh, but it was difficult to ascertain the identity in the absence of symbols because if you can see the hands were cut off here they are broken so you cannot identify who is this tirthankara but still they have identified that this is some kind of jain tirthankaras they have this tirthankaras right now absence of symbols made them difficult to identify who is this tirthankara and the sculptures were shifted the sculptures were shifted to the archaeology museum on the premises of indira gandhi rashtriya manav sangrahale okay to that particular museum next Now, the tussle between the governor and the state legislatures. So, again, for a move to Supreme Court, Kerala seeks norms for governors on reserving bills. So, as per Article 200 of Indian Constitution, governor is empowered with this assent of bills. So, with the discretionary power of assenting bills. Now, there are no norms that are being mentioned on how long a particular bill can be reserved by the governor it is simply mentioned that it should be cleared as soon as possible but there is no particular norm or rule or regulation which will constrain the governor to provide the bill update within the given stipulated time so they might take years together that is what happened in kerala and not only in kerala in different districts like different states like punjab telangana so you need to understand that those people also went to Supreme Court and Supreme Court has uh, um, guided the respective governors to clear those bills immediately. And they have also mentioned that after reserving, for, uh, reserving the bill for so long, they cannot further reserve the bill or uh, for, cannot further um, send it to president for further assent. Okay. So reserve, the reserve no pet bilini. Further go in, in, in uh, after some years, they cannot further uh, transfer it to president's assent. That is also being mentioned by pre, uh, the Supreme Court. So, in this particular article, Kerala has moved the Supreme Court for guidelines on the circumstances under which the governor may reserve bills presented to him for the consideration of the president, withhold his assent, or return it to the assembly. The state recently made the plea by an amendment to the writ petition. So, writ petition dwara, you have a plain So, you have writ petitions through Article 32, which is addressing to Supreme Court. So, most probably they would have gone through mandamus. Okay. So, that is something you need to understand. Uh, the state wants the court to interpret the phrase as soon as possible. So, as I told you, Article 200 prakaram, as soon as possible, and mention Jesar. As soon as possible, and as soon as possible, and what is the stipulated time? 100 years, huh? 10 years, huh? 20 years, huh? 1 year, huh? 6 months, huh? 1 month, huh? immediate. Huh? They haven't mentioned anything. Without giving any stipulated time period, as soon as possible cannot be interpreted at all. So, in, for that case, the Kerala government have approached government, uh, approached the Supreme Court to give necessary guidelines. Okay. So, through Article 200 of the Constitution, then the timeline for the disposal of the bills presented to the governor, Article 200 prescribes that the governor may access the option of sending the bills to the president, withhold the assent or return it to the assemblies as soon as possible. Kerala pointed out that the governor Arif Muhammad Khan sat on eight bills that were passed by the state legislature even to three years. Eight bills need three years work withhold, yes, sir. So, that has been passed in both the both the houses or in the state legislature, but still it is not being accepted by uh, the governor. So, he has reserved that particular bill for three more years. How can you say as soon as possible? Now, what is the term as soon as possible here? So, there was certain guidelines for this from Supreme Court to interpret the term as soon as possible. So, we will have to wait for the judgment. Now, ISRO all set to launch, launch this ExpoSat and 10 other payloads on Jan 1st. So, January 1st, with the beginning of New Year, mark of this um, 2024, they are going to launch this ExpoSat. Now, 2023 has been a very good year for ISRO with the successful launch of Aditya L1 and Chandrayaan 3. So, yes, we will see. Now, following the landmark, of 2023 will ring the new year with the launch of PSLV C58. So this is the pay launch vehicle they are using. Polar satellite 
launch vehicle x-ray polarimeter satellite which is exposat x-ray polarimeter satellite will be launched as a mission from january first on january first so PSLV will launch this exposat and 10 more payloads it's not only exposat it is carrying some 10 more payloads we will see what are those also and it is being scheduled on 9 10 okay from the shar center see harikota now isro's PSLV c58 mission to launch this exposat satellite into an eastward low inclination orbit after injection of exposat the ps4 stage will be restarted twice to reduce the orbit into 350 kilometer circular orbit to maintain three axis stabilized mode for orbital platform experiments which is not required for you that is scientific what you need is the launch vehicle they're using is pslv c58 this number is important and with this they are sending 10 more uh, payloads okay so this is the first dedicated scientific satellite. So this is for the first time a dedicated scientific satellite from ISRO to carry out research in space-based polarization of X-ray mission from celestial sources. So X-ray mission is pumped to Narandi. Okay, this is the polarization measurements. Okay, immediate one. With this, it carries two payloads for this. Okay, exposat. Polyx, which is polarimeter instrument in X-rays and ex expect why I am reading all this is that this might be asked in your prelims. Okay, not only in your UPSC, that is important for your RRB or SSC or your groups. Okay, next Polyx has been developed by Raman Research Institute and expect is by Space Astronomy Group of UP URSC Bangalore. Okay, now what are the different payloads? So these payloads are from startups. So we have this in space, which is supporting this uh, privatization in the space sector. So this is developed by startups, education institutions, and ISRO centers. So among these, dust experiment, which is DEX by PRL, which is ISRO. Then fuel cell power system, FCPS by VSSC, ISRO. Then silicon based high energy cell by VSSC by ISRO. Then radiation, shelding experimental module by take me to space and we sat by lbs institute of technology just names try to remember all these names are related to your payloads that are being sent sent to space through pslv c58 okay that's all nothing more than that So six month low, your core sector's growth. Overall output level, we're at the lowest since March 2023. Cement output to contract for a 13 month low. You need to just know what is current scenario. Current scenario in core sectors for all eight, eight core sectors is been the growth has been sliding down. Negative low only for a six months low. Okay. So that is uh, majorly through cement. Then uh, refinery uh, products and coal are the only sectors to see the uptick. That means they are only increasing. In eight, only refinery products and coal are increasing. Rest of all have seen the down downtrend. Okay, downward trend. Right, nothing more than that. Next. So I think that is the last article for today. So yes, we have sport articles and rest of the articles. This article we will see. Yeah, Indian Navy unveils new appellates for admirals. So we will see this particular article. So as there are less articles, some articles which you can also consider that we will see. Okay, so this Epilates in the sense, if you can see in the image, what is this epilate means, will give you clarity. Polisiski kani avarkena kani shoulder me the istar gada piece of clothing. Um, this will showcase their uh, position, like ornamental decorations and what a position patti and they are epilate patti. They will decide on the rank of that particular person. Okay, so that epilate will make you decide on which rank that particular Navy person is. Not only Navy, those epilates are common for different kinds of administration, policing or different things, okay? Uh, right, we will see this. They have unveiled this new epilates, that's all for admirals. 
next uh, the following prime minister uh, narendra modi announced or announcement during the navy day celebrations in sindhudurg on december 4th the navy unveiled a new design of epaulets for admirals with the octagon and the new design drawn from the navy site inspired by rajamudra of chhatrapati shivaji so with what inspiration with the rajamudra of chhatrapati shivaji the navy said the new design is a true reflection okay of a rich maritime heritage and reiterates the resolve to do away with guru lakshmi in mansikta so simple this is being in, uh, inspired from chatrapati shivaji rajamundra and navy said this particular design is a rich maritime heritage adi choopistundi ani cheppukochcharu okay so next adoption of this new design reaffirms the commitment of two pillars which is panch pran virasit pargav pargav and gulami ki mansikta se mukti okay so the navy said on social media bharatiya navsena navsena embracing bharatiyata in letter and spirit so navsena in the sense navy is showcasing the bharatiyata that means the nationality of india okay they are using the term bharat more so understand that also now there is it pandra then gulami ki manasiktha se mukti ante slavery slavery of a mindset gulami mana gulamlu kaadu ana oka mindset nunchi baiti ki teesukochedi this is the word that they have used these sentences you can directly involve or in, indulge it into your answer writing especially when you are writing essay okay so apart from that in 2022 during the commissioning of first indigenous aircraft which is ins vikrant we have our indigenous aircraft carrier okay mr modi has unveiled a new naval ensign he also said that the navy would rename its rank in line with indian traditions so that is something which you need to understand okay so yes i think uh, the rest of that you don't have much articles all of it are almost um, political so yes that's it for today we'll meet again in next session probably on monday thank you